Northern Michigan University has been an Olympic training site since 1985. This year, multiple athletes and coaches from NMU's program are in Pyeongchang, representing the United States in the Olympics. TV6's David Jackson has more. The training site at NMU currently hosts three United States Olympic teams, Greco-Roman wrestling and men's and women's weightlifting. Over the years, they have been the training site to several U.S. Olympic teams, from the biathlon team to the short track speed skating team. Student and athletes from Northern have generated, uh, I think it is 25 medals. Uh, we've had just under 80 um, Northern students throughout the years who have attended the Winter Olympics. At the Winter Olympics this year, several coaches, along with multiple short track medal winner Shawnee Davis, were once athletes training at NMU's facility. Uh, Shawnee Davis, who skates long track now, was a short track skater here. Um, there's also two former NMU students who are here for short track. Um, one moved on to long track and is a long track coach, and the other is a short track coach. We've had 12 athletes that have qualified and gone to the Olympics, and uh, eight athletes that have uh, actually gone to the world championships as well, and six NCAA national champions. Another former NMU athlete competing this year is Rosie Frankowski with the cross country skiing team. Well, Rosie's looking great. I mean, uh, we have one of the best uh, women's teams in the, in the world right now. The United States is ranked third. So this is by far the best uh, women's Olympic cross-country ski team to represent the United States in the history of, of the Olympics. Feldheim says he's proud of how well she has improved since she was first on his team. Uh, not the best skier on our team her freshman year, but by her senior year, she uh, was runner-up at NCAAs by uh, less than a second. I guess just her work ethic and, uh, you know, she stuck with it. Uh, she has a lot of tenacity, very, very smart. In Marquette, I'm David Jackson for TV6 News.